Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian, and today, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a at-home workout, as well as a protein shake meal that I'm gonna share with you guys how I make my protein shakes at home. First off, I just wanna apologize about this lighting. It's looking kinda weird and super bright, but I've tried to change the settings a million times, and it just will not change. It's either super, super dark, where you pretty much can't see me, or it's like this. So we're just gonna roll with it. So I do apologize about the lighting, but we are going to be doing an at-home workout today. So I do have a gym membership and I work out about four to five times a week, depending on how busy I am that particular week. This past week, I was able to go Monday through Friday. So I did work out already five times, but I'm feeling super motivated and I feel like I wanna get a workout in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick at-home workout. It's only gonna be about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna do 15 minutes on a row machine and then I'm gonna do a 10 minute workout video. So the row machine part will be like my cardio and then the 10 minute workout video is gonna be focused on my arms and also my legs. So I will leave that workout video down below in my description box just in case any of you guys would like to do this workout video as well. Like I said, it's gonna be a really short one. It's only 10 minutes. So you don't have to have an expensive gym membership to wanna work out. You can find a ton of different workout videos online on YouTube. They offer so many different ones. I will try to remember to link a few channels that I actually follow that offer free workout videos from home. Some you don't even need weights or anything to use at home. You use like just like your body weight. So I'll definitely try to remember um, to link them down below for you guys. I'm just gonna be doing a quick 25 minute workout. I know a lot of people don't have workout machines at their house like row machines or treadmills or anything like that. But you guys have other options you can do. You can run up and down the stairs. If you have stairs in your house, do a few sets of running up and down the stairs. Maybe take a walk or jog around your neighborhood or a park. Other cardio ideas, maybe if you wanna do that's free, maybe just run around your house twice and then stop and do like five mountain climbers or five burpees and five jump squats and do a few sets of that and that'll be a great cardio workout. So there are different options to choose from. So like I said, I will try my best to remember to link a few channels down below for you guys. I also will be linking the 10 minute video that I will be doing. It'll be focused on arms and legs since I am doing the row machine, that'll be like my cardio part. So that is what today's video is going to be about. And then once I am done with my workout, I will show you guys how I make my protein shake from home. Now I do buy pre-made protein shakes because sometimes I just like that quick shake already made, especially if I'm going to the gym and I have errands to do right after. It's great just to have that pre-made one. So I do buy some pre-made ones, but I do like to make them at home sometimes as well. So I'm almost out of my protein powder that I'm currently using. I've been using it for a year now. So once I'm done with that, I am on the hunt for a new one. If you guys use any protein powders, let me know in the comments what you recommend because I am on hunt for a new one once this one is out. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm currently using and what I currently put in my protein shakes. Maybe I can give you guys some ideas of your own. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's video. I know I told you guys that this year I am making a few changes to my channel and one of the changes was bringing more fitness and health related videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. So enough of my talking, I've already been talking for a really long time. So let's just go ahead and jump right into today's workout video. All right, friends. So like I said, I did start off on my rowing machine. We recently purchased this on Amazon. I'm gonna try to find it for you guys and link it down below just in case you guys are interested. But I did do 15 minutes on the row machine. And if you guys are wondering why I kept on looking to the side, it's because I was watching the Real Housewives of Orange County. This is what was keeping me motivated to stay on this for 15 minutes. After I was done 15 minutes of the rowing machine, I went ahead and did a 10 minute workout video. I will leave that workout video down below as well as the channel and also a few other channels that I follow that you can find some free workout videos to do at home. So I did the 10 minute workout video and I was using eight pound weights. That's the biggest weights I have at home. So I used eight pound weights for all of these workouts. I also want to quickly mention that you can totally do more than one set of this. I only did one set of this 10 minute workout because I did do the 15 minutes on the rowing machine. But if you would like, you can totally do like two or three sets and this will be a 30 minute workout or you can combine it and do other short workout videos that are like 10 or 15 minutes long. All 
All right, you guys, so this is what I'll be using to make my protein shake. So I picked the worst day to make this video or film this video because I'm out of frozen fruit. So I'm about to use fresh fruit and I usually like to use frozen fruit. And then I'm also out of spinach. This is all the spinach that I have left, but that's fine. I'm gonna use what I have. So I usually use one scoop of this bone broth protein and chocolate. And then I use about like a cup of almond milk or coconut milk. Sometimes I do get oat milk, so it just depends what milk I have on hand. But today I have some unsweetened um, almond milk. And then I do a huge handful of spinach, but this is all the spinach I have left, so that's all I'll be able to put in it. Then I do a handful of blueberries and a few strawberries. Usually they're frozen, but I don't have any frozen ones. Sometimes I do bananas as well, but I don't have any frozen bananas right now, so I'm not gonna put banana in it. And then I'll do like one tablespoon of almond butter. Then I also put some chia seeds in it as well. So that is everything. And then I'll probably put a little bit of ice in my Ninja just because the fruit isn't frozen. So I'll put a little bit of ice in there as well. So I don't really have an order of how I put all the ingredients into my Nutribullet to blend together. I just throw everything in there. So I'm going to put all the ingredients that I previously showed you into this Nutribullet. And I'm obsessed with this Nutribullet. My sister actually bought me it for Christmas. And I like it better than a huge blender because I hated having to pull out a huge blender just to do one little cup of like a protein shake or a milkshake or something. So definitely a great investment. They also have like off brands. I'll try to find and link down below for you guys. But put all the ingredients in my Nutribullet and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything together. I just finished making my protein shake. It's not as smooth or as thick as it usually is because I didn't have any frozen fruit. I usually like to put a lot of frozen fruit and that's what makes it thick and creamy, but that's okay. So it came out really good. So that is going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video because my daughter is currently really upset and crying and there's a bunch of TVs on and I'm pretty sure it's really loud and you guys can't hear me. So I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I will try next time to film when I go to the gym so you guys can see how I work out over at the gym. And just a quick FYI before I end this video, I'm not claiming to be an expert when it comes to working out. I'm not claiming to be some nutritionist, knowing everything because I don't. As you guys can see, a lot of my movements that I was doing in the workout, I was doing a lot of them wrong and I felt like I was doing them wrong. That's why I like going to the gym because they'll correct you if you are doing the wrong um, form of everything. So I'm still learning as I go, but I do enjoy working out and I'm loving the results that I'm seeing. So just a quick FYI, I'm not claiming to be a pro and a lot of people will criticize you on how you work out and your form and everything. So I just want to quickly mention that. But anyways guys, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.